Good morning, and welcome to another episode. So the sun hasn't even come up yet, and I'm already outside <laughs> making uh, fertilizer mixtures together, getting mulch ready to uh, start mulching my trees. Show you what I do for autumn and winter. So let's get to it. Now I want to mention that you may not need to apply any organic fertilizer to your soil if you're growing in ground. You very well might have all these elements already available to you. Uh, you certainly don't want to overdo it. One of the things that um, is a big problem is the nitrogen and potassium runoff that ends up in creeks and things that causes algae blooms. So if you don't need to add it, um, I wouldn't. And all you may have to do is just adding a good layer of mulch, maybe some compost in the spring, and that might be all you need to do. This is all for container gardening where the resources are finite. So as far as fertilizer goes, I just use a one to one ratio of blood meal for my nitrogen, which has added beneficial bacteria and mycorrhiza added to it. And then I add bone meal for phosphorus. Again, one to one ratio. I used to add potash to this mixture as well. This uh, potash I produce myself from lump charcoal when I grill and stuff. I don't use any chemicals or anything like that. But this I can still use. Um, if I know that once I know there's flowers starting to appear, then I can add a little bit of this to the soil. But I stopped doing that because potash, the potassium in that is very water soluble. And we get a lot of rain here and really in general, I think before it even really gets properly utilized, by the time spring comes around, I think all of that potassium would have washed out already. So instead, I'm just gonna add to the soil by adding banana peels. This will slowly get eaten, break down over the course of autumn and winter and be available by the time spring comes around and uh, the plants actually need it. So let's talk about mulch then. Once you've determined whether you wanna add a fertilizer to your container or possibly depleted soil, Really, the most important thing in my mind is your mulch because it adds so many nutrients to your soil and really without having to do anything for it. It protects your soil, it creates the good bioactive life in your soil, prevents evaporation and all these things. So this is really very important. So what I have is uh, I've got some bark over here, bark mulch, a little bit got leaves obviously I can grab plenty more of that over you know it's just really anywhere outside right now I've got a bunch of coffee grounds over here this is all coffee grounds so this is all nitrogen and a bunch of minerals and things that I can add at will and then over here I've got several coarseness of decomposed wood that I can add to the soil depending on how fast I want it to break down. If I want it to be more like soil, I could use the finer stuff. If I want it to be more like mulch, I could use this coarser stuff over here. So just depending on what I want it to do, I can add different things to it. And this is all just to bring up the soil level because the soil level will sink down over the course of the growing season. But mulch, it's very, very, very important. I've also got coconut fiber mulch if I uh, end up needing to just having to use a base for the soil. I can also use this. This will also absorb nutrients very well. So like adding liquid fertilizers to this, like uh, maybe worm leachate or uh, fish emulsion or something like that would be very good as well. Now, as far as actually showing you what I would be doing, this uh, blueberry here is a pretty good example. Now I have already been uh, mulching this a little bit because the soil level was dropping quite a bit because it was a brand new soil i had just planted it this year so it dropped more than normally would and i've also been putting a bunch of leaves as, as you can see on top of here but you know the principle is really simple in most cases i would wait a little longer on most of my container containers than right now just because um there tend to be a lot of strawberries i grow a lot of strawberries in my underneath my uh, plants here most shrubs and most trees and you know if you wait a little longer, they kind of the leaves die off, and it makes mulching it a lot easier. But this is uh, one that I haven't planted out yet. But really, all it is after this, ideally, I would do this. I would add the fertilizer before I add the um, the mulch and things like that. But in this case, it'll be fine. It'll go down and get rained in. 
I would just add maybe a couple, these, this is probably about a teaspoon. I'd probably add about a couple of these, just sprinkle it on, just like that. Maybe do one more, and then really call it good on the fertilizer part of it. Remember, less is more. You don't want to overdo it either. And then for my potassium, I like having like random logs and things on my mulch here because underneath them, I will bury my banana peels. So this will break down, get eaten up by, by, the, by the worms, microbes, things like that. Over the course of autumn and winter, and then that'll be ready by the time spring comes around. And if I want to add more potassium for flowering and fruiting, I can add a little bit of a potash when it gets time to it. But for now, this is plenty. So that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you guys for coming along. I'll see you all in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.